in uh, this final part of your training you will learn how to deepen your experience of divine consciousness. I am also going to give you additional suggestions of how you can expand your practice. You are going to work with a very specialized outer realm which can help you in the deepening of your experience and as you proceed with the practice you will internalize this outer realm increasingly so that eventually it will no longer be necessary. Provided that you proceed as I'm going to outline now, you can succeed with ease in making the consciousness of being one a permanent attitude. And such an attitude can give you dominion over the energies of a higher order, call it spirits, energy complexes of a higher order, which you can contact during your path in life, during your magical evolution, whatever you call it. And you set up your outer realm in a form which reflects the alignment of the four elements. At first you trace a circle around yourself in which you are going to stand or sit. You imagine this circle of being part of a protective sphere which surrounds you. And as you progress in your evolution, you are going to expand the characteristics of this protective sphere. And consequently, your power in dealing with complex energies of a higher order or spirits will increase, especially when you are going to use the commanding power of divine consciousness. In front of your circle, you have your table or your altar, whatever you call it. And the altar is nothing but an individual switchboard which serves you as a structural link to the specific realms or energies which you intend to explore or use. In the practice which you are going to do, your altar of course has to be a structural representation of the aligning of the four elements within yourself and an expression of the structure of the divine name. Therefore your altar will have utensils which represent exactly these four elements. And use these utensils should be arranged in a way which reflect their aligning. So you set your table up as follows. Draw a circle on the table. You can use a cord or lay out a circle with, with a cord. Inside the circle you trace an equilateral triangle. And again you can use a cord. This is your triangle of manifestation. Leave enough space between the triangle and the circumference of the circle for the utensils of the four elements. Put one or two altar candles inside the triangle. Two ca candles especially are of use to control and see the energies which are going to connect with. Inside the circle and outside the triangle, you put the utensils which represent the four elements. Put the elemental triangle with a candle upon to the upper right, the an elemental pentagon with a cup of water or wine upper left, elemental square with the incense, a dagger, if you like also, to the lower left, and finally the elemental pentagram with a crystal or dish with earth to the lower right. So you have the four elements now. You can use this basic circle for many other types of work. In each case is set up can represent your oneness with the divine. Your next step is the charging of your outer realm with the energies which you are going to use. You do so by first charging the circle which surrounds you. While imagining the sphere which surrounds you, you know that this sphere is protection. Then you take your power rod or dagger and trace the circle on the altar. You can do the tracing with your index finger, which points towards the periphery of the circle. While you trace the circle, you project energy into it. It builds up a, or like a sphere of which the material circle which you have traced is the equator. Next, you trace the triangle in the center of the circle. And as you trace the triangle with your finger or power rod or dagger, 
you visualize strongly that energy flows into the lines of the triangle. Like the two altar candles now proceed to light the candle which represents the fire element. Project fire energy into the elemental triangle of fire. Imagine the elemental triangle being a gate to the cosmic realms of fire. Draw the red fire energy from the universe while you inhale and project it into the elemental triangle of fire while you exhale. Proceed with the charging of the elemental pentagon of water with the blue energy of the water element. Charge water energy into the pentagon until you feel that this is enough. Proceed the same way with the air element and with the earth element. After you have finished with charging the four elements, the talismans, you proceed to imagine the energies flowing into the triangle in the center of the altar, mainly into the air between the two candles. At first, your work may not appear to you as, as perfect as you would like to have it happen. And uh, at the same time, be assured that with practice, your methods of drawing and projecting energies will gain in intensity and power.